Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell, about my scale. I thought it was already presented the last video, right? Not yet, because now that we use it, uh, we realize some issues with it. Uh, and one issue is maybe I should have designed this switch here uh, another way, so that we are uh, that we are. Um, it is a little bit more inside, so that it do does not stick too much outside. Because actually, if you put it in the in inside somewhere, yeah, it's easy to switch, yeah? and then you have an issue. Yeah? Because then uh, it will drain the battery, and this is usually not that good to get those. I have already destroyed uh, those accumulators, those batteries. So I thought. Maybe I could build in some sort of beeper, yeah, some sort of, of beeper. Uh, here I will use this one. This is a, a passive beeper, and I hoped I can build it in somewhere. And I really found it because D three would be what is actually necessary is a, a thing which can be pulse width modulation. D three is still empty so I will use D3 and there is enough room for me to place here this beeper uh, somehow like that then this is plus here here this I have to connect to to this here I have to connect to D3 which is here so here we have pretty straight cross and here I just have to connect those two those two lines so this should be no trouble at all I think so I'm going to do this I'm going to do this now heat this up and make here some connections It's not what it's written on there. Sad. It's distilled water. And now it's not even water. <laughs> So we do have those people, these people installed. Should work. So I'm going to assemble this, reassemble this.
mounted, connect this. Okay, now we have a pizza, a pipi in there. Now we only have to find a way how to code this. And this is I will do, right? There's always a way. So you see the alternations of the hardware, how they look. Next time we'll try to code this. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.